Well, hello, and welcome back, my friends, to yet another wonderful episode here on my channel of me doing dumb stuff and experimenting with things I have no business touching. Now, today's video is kind of spur of the moment, and I just noticed it as I got home from work, you know. Got home after a nice long day in the office, was going to have myself a high-quality road soda, and while I was walking back to my lounging chair, I noticed... This here T-Post driver, this fine $20 implement that you can buy at your regular old tractor supply. And what does it do? Well, it looks like this bad boy here would just slip right down inside it. You know what that means, don't you? It means I am bound by the laws of man to turn this into a cannon that shoots things really far or blows up. Either way, really cool. But now, before we get into this, let's have a word from today's sponsor. Got a whole bunch of neat shit here in the shop. Check the comments for a link. Go buy it. Alrighty. Well, here we are. Back on the range. Cannon set down on the ground. I can't give you the details on how I made it. Because that's what will get my YouTube channel axed. But what I can tell you is that... Just drill a hole. Now, with that being said, I went ahead and filled it up with some black powder. Uh, I think it's like red dot shotgun powder. Not much. Just like... A standard double charge for a shotgun load. I figure if a normal can cannon will run off a 556 five, blank, that ought to be enough. But let's go ahead and light this thing. But before I do, remember number one rule of firearm safety is to have fun. And number two is well, don't try this at home or do. I'm not your babysitter. Do what you like. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so you might notice it is a different day after that failed first shot. Now, with that being said, I learned a few things from it and I learned that uh, I needed to mix up my propellant a little bit. One, I was using shotgun powder like I stated previously. And two, I noticed it didn't, uh, well, it didn't burn near fast enough, so I needed something a little more aggressive. I was short on black powder or any other rifle powders that have a hotter burn rate, so instead, what I did have laying around was some rocket fuel. So I uh, did a little mixing around and a little bit of chemistry with my rocket fuel, and I think it's gonna work. Either that or uh, it's gonna blow right on up, which would be awful. So I'm gonna stand really far away and on the other side of my building after I like this, but let's get to it and see what it does. Okay, so that uh, <laughs> was just a smidge more aggressive than what I had planned on, but it worked. And that's what's most important. The only problem with it working was it definitely disintegrated the can in there and uh, just sprayed it all out the end. It didn't stay in one piece. And uh, the fuse hole here, it's definitely burnt out a little larger than it should have been. I guess that's just from the fuse, though. It may be something I can fix over time. I don't know. Um, but it held together. There's no deformation of the tube. I looked in it. It's clear. Everything came out just fine. Um, the only thing is I need more solid of a uh, projectile. But I don't have that laying around right now. Um, so I'll have to find where I can buy some cannonballs, maybe. Uh, maybe build some solid aluminum projos, because I hear those work really well, and they're pretty easy to cast. But... In general, it worked. I'm gonna go ahead and close it out there for now. I'll make another video later once I get some more uh, solid of a projectile. Or if you guys can think of anything that'd be really cool to shot out of this thing, to be shot out of this thing, feel free to let me know. Anyways, I approve of this cannon. <laughs> 